Hi, it's Agnes here. Well, I woke up in a great mood this morning. And the reason for that is that last night I spent some time on the phone with my daughter, ironing out the details behind my grandson coming to visit. He's five years old. He's a bundle of energy. He's one of my best buddies. <laughs> and it's so much fun when he comes to visit me one-on-one. -on -one. And this is going to be an extended visit, um, just the way the school breaks work out this year. It's, it's a long one. Um, and, and I'm really excited about it. Now, I got to thinking about this, and one of the reasons, I mean, despite the fact that I love him to bits, um, is the fact that we have so much fun together. You know, he asks me all sorts of questions and because he's my grandson, I either come up with answers or find out answers or, you know, we go onto my laptop and we look for answers and we get out and we do stuff and he loves the local museum and asks questions because I read a little bit better than him at this stage of the game. Um, and and it's it's interesting how he trusts me completely to find the answers for him and I do it without hesitation and I got to thinking about confidence this morning. Now I'll grant you that it's easy to be confident when you're dealing with a five-year-old and you know usually the questions you can come up with an answer or find an answer but in terms of our businesses we don't always bring the same confidence. And I find this curious because after you've been doing it for a while, you do gain the knowledge, you gain the skills, you gain everything you need, except possibly practice, to impart the knowledge or the skills to your clients. And I got to thinking that, you know, if we can remember that we have the knowledge, the skills, the talent around our subject matter, that it shouldn't be as big of a problem to present it to our clients, to teach our clients. And sometimes it's just a matter of practice. And once you've got the practice, you know, you just get used to being able to do it. But I guess the other part of that coin is, if practice is the secret to confidence with our clients, then we have to get out there and be confident enough to practice. So I think that's a little more convoluted than it was in my brain before I started this video. But anyways, I hope I've given you a little bit of food for thought. And um, yeah, hopefully you have the confidence to really develop your business and get in front of your clients and then enjoy the times with your children or grandchildren or whomever. So thanks for tuning in today. It's Agnes. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.